In this video, we're gonna take a look at lens hoods. What are they, what do they do? How can we use them to reduce lens flare, but also how can we use lens flare for effect? Hi, Paul here from Photo Genius. Now, if you're new to the channel, I post weekly photography tutorials, I share photography tips, tricks, and do occasional gear reviews as well. So if you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. This video is all about lens hoods. Now I've got an array of different cameras here and uh, lenses all with lens hoods. What is a lens hood? Well, you'll see that they come in all different shapes and sizes. Uh, this is a Canon 50 millimeter prime lens, often known as the Nifty 50. And if I take the hood off, you'll see that it is just simply a piece of plastic that attaches to the front of the lens. But what is the advantage of putting a lens hood on the front of a lens. Well, a lens hood has one main goal in mind, and that is to try and help reduce or completely eliminate unwanted light from spoiling our images. Now, if you've ever taken an image and wondered what those annoying streaks and circular blobs of light are that run across your image, this is almost certainly gonna be lens flare. Let me show you how it works. If I'm taking a picture with this camera and my subject is over there, then of course that's where I'm gonna be pointing the camera. I'm only really interested in recording this and the light over there, but there might be another light source over here. It could be the sun. It could also be the sun bouncing off a nearby window. Now this light, if it skims across the front of the lens, can bounce around and cause lens flare. Now this is something we wanna try and avoid. So just in the same way that on a sunny day you might put your hand up over your eyes to shade your eyes from the sun, we can use lens hoods to do the same. Now let's take a look at a couple of images. In this first image, you can clearly see the lens flare stretching across the image. And also note that the image lacks contrast. It looks just a little bit flat. Now in image two, where the lens hood was used, no lens flare, and now the image packs more of a punch. It has a better contrast, most notably in the shadows and the black parts of the image. So look, now there's two great reasons for using a lens hood. Not only can we reduce lens flare, but we can also improve the contrast of our images. Now lens hoods come in all different shapes and sizes because you've guessed it, so do lenses. Some lenses give us a really wide view. Some lenses like this telephoto lens give us a very narrow view. This is the hood that fits and suits this particular Nikon telephoto lens. So this lens hood will give us maximum shade. This would not work on a wide angle lens because a wide angle lens gives us a wide view and it's so deep that the lens would actually see the hood. So lens hoods are lens specific. Now you may have been lucky when you brought your gear, you may have got a hood with it. These days, most often you don't. So with this 18 to 55 kit lens, I had to buy the lens hood separately. And to pop the lens hood on couldn't be easier. It just pops on the front like so, twist to lock, and you're ready to go. Now here's a neat trick. When you're putting your camera away, take the lens hood off, reverse it, put it back on the lens, and that way you save space in your camera bag. So this video has been about reducing lens flare by using lens hoods, but to be honest, lens flare can sometimes look pretty cool. So here's a bonus tip for you that you're gonna love if you like playing around with Photoshop. You can add lens flare to your images all within Photoshop very easily. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Open up an image in Photoshop, click on filter, from the drop down menu, select render, then lens flare. You can now easily move your lens flare around, select from different various types of lens flare, and it's a pretty cool effect. So there you go, nice little bonus tip to wrap up the video. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel, and of course you can leave your comments, suggestions, and questions down below. I hope to see you again sometime soon. See ya, bye.